We're searching for those hidden barnbound collectible cars and trucks that have been gone for a few years or maybe even a few decades. They have personalities. They have stories, just like we do. We're traveling the back roads of the country, discovering what we call American authenticity. Real people in real time with real stories. And these are stories that inspire. They make us laugh. They rekindle memories. These people and these stories are all around us. And we're setting out to find them. We don't want to buy anything, we don't want to sell you anything. And we heard that, uh, you know, you used to have some really neat cars. Ron, from the moment we walked in the garage, I love this car. You gotta tell me about this rat rod. I love it too. Built it in 2005, in five months, put over 30,000 miles on it, and it's got more attention than anything I've ever had. Never thought that a car painted with a brush would, would get so much attention. Uh, anywhere I go, people just love it. Like riding in a parade all the time, yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah, everybody looks. When you're driving down the road, everybody's gawking at it. Ron, you know we're hunting barn finds all over the place. I think, as far as I know, garage finds count too. And we got a really good one here. It looks like a, maybe a 60 vet to me, am I right? It is a 60. I bought it in 1983. It's only driven from the upper garage to the lower garage with no brakes. <laughs> that must have been an adventure. Everything I do is an adventure. <laughs> Absolutely everybody remembers their first car. You've got much more than a memory here. You've got the real McCoy. I got this car when I was a senior in high school, 1973. I was 17 years old, paid $400 for it. 400 bucks, Ron. I'd give you twice that today. It would take more than twice that. Turns out it was a pretty good investment. I guess it was. So what do you think is in that barn up there? Well, that's a big barn. There could be a lot of things in there. Whoa, Whoa look at that. Wow. Mark, you've got to see this. Wow. Oh, I did not expect to find anything like that. I don't know which country road we'll be going down next, but I hope you're along for the ride.